Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem minimizing coins taken from CSES and this is from dynamic programming category. So the problem statement is you are given n different values of uh, coins of n different values okay and then also an integer x and you have to find the minimum number of coins required to make the total sum x or uh, if i explain this with an example so this is example desk case there are three different coins of value 1 5 and 7 and total sum that you have to make is 11 now uh, you can do this in minimum number of coins 3 you can't do it in 1 you can't do it in 2 but you can do it in 3 so 3 is the minimum so answer is 3 Here you can see using 5 5 and 1 2 coins of values 5 and 1 coin of value 1 you can assume that each coin is available uh, infinity number of times okay so we won't run out of any coins so this is the problem statement given n different values of coin and an integer x you have to find the minimum number of coins required to make the total sum x so let's see how we'll solve this problem of course we'll apply dynamic programming to solve this problem uh, suppose this is a new example test case in which x is equals to 10 and given coins are of values 1 5 and 7 if input is equals to x then we will calculate the minimum coins required to make uh, some from 1 to x for all integers okay so x was 10 here so i'll be finding minimum coins required to make some 1 through 10 all for every single integer we'll calculate this and dp of i will store the minimum number of coins required to make the total sum i okay so our solution would be dp of x right so how many coins it is re uh, required to make the total sum zero of course zero this is our base case okay uh, we need only zero coins to make the total sum zero and that's why dp of zero is equals to zero i'm so uh, let me uh, tell you about the transitions remember uh, while solving dp problem the most important thing you should figure out uh, is transitions okay so i may tell you that but before that Unacademy and Code Chef are conducting classes that are open to all. All you have to do is verify your number and enter my code, code and code underscore UA to get access of all of these lectures along with our weekly test series. And for those who want to access these on mobile phone, you can download the application, uh, Unacademy learning application as well. So I should go for these classes uh, because you'll be uh, you'll be taught by the guys who, uh, who have either cracked the interviews to the companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, or are great uh, have great achievement in the competitive programming field like being semester at code chef or uh, acm icpc world finalists so you know you'll be taught by the best the industry have to offer and the other reason is more than 60 hours of content is being added every week uh, which is open for all of course so you can check the schedule of all the open classes with the link in the description of the video but you want to have a structured learning approach where you know exactly how much you will learn and practice on a weekly basis or you can become a paid subscriber and get access to all the currently running and the past batches and courses link of the upcoming batch in the description of the video so let's get back to our lecture so let's go ahead and define the transitions so see here uh if you if you can make the sum x minus ci where ci is the value of ith coin okay if you can make the sum c minus xi in minimum number of y coins then you can make the sum x in y plus one coin as well basically if you are able to make the sum x minus ci in y coins then sum x can be made in y plus one coins how take the set which makes the sum x minus ci right we know there will be y coins in it just add the uh, ith coin okay what would happen the set would have size y plus one and the total sum would be x right so this defines your transition right to make the sum x uh, we can utilize the values of x minus one x minus five and x minus seven in this case okay uh, take the minimum value of x minus one x minus 5 x minus 7 and then make uh, take the minimum of all of them and then the minimum coin to make the sum x can be found let me sh explain with a little more example basically if you want to find out the minimum number of coins required to make the total sum x then 
you have to find the uh, minimum of y right using which you can make the sum x how see x minus uh, evaluate minimum of dp of x minus ci basically dp of x minus 1 x minus 5 x minus 7 in this case take minimum of all of them add plus 1 because you have to add one extra coin to make the sum x right because of this observation that we have just seen so let me uh, take you through an example so that you will understand it better so if i want to make dp of 1 uh, I'll go for dp of 1 minus 1, 1 minus 5, 1 minus 7. But the problem is 1 minus 5 and 1 minus 7 are negative and you can't make positive values using, sorry, you can't make negative values using coins of positive value. So you have to discard all of these values which are negative. So 1 minus 5, 1 minus 7, we would simply ignore. 1 minus 1 is 0. So minimum of dp of 0 is of course this value itself and dp of 0 is 0. So 0 plus 1, 1. So basically using one coin, you will be able to make a sum one right how take an empty set because dp of zero is basically represents your empty set uh, because you don't need any coin to make some zero right take an empty set and insert a coin one into it and it would become uh, a set whose value is one right now let's go for two for two the same thing would happen uh, dp of one plus one dp of one is one 1 plus 1 is 2 so dp of 2 would become 2 so basically you can make some 2 using 2 1 rupee uh, 1 rupee coin okay now uh, 3 till 3 4 it would be same so i'm simply filling them out dp of 5 would be uh, dp of 5 minus 1 which is dp of 4 and dp of 5 minus 5 which is dp of 0 minimum of these two dp of 4 and dp of 0 minimum of these two is clearly 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so dp of 5 would become 1 how take the empty set and insert 5 into it and it would become a set whose value whose sum of values is equals to 5 right so you are able to see how we are able to generate how we are able to fill the dp array uh, using the values calculated already right this is your dp right now for 6 the same thing would happen for 7 now we had three values to minimize from dp of 7 minus 1 7 minus 5 and 7 minus 7 so 6 2 and 0 6 2 and 0 minimum of 2 2 and 0 is 0 so 0 plus 1 1 so dp of 7 would become 1 so this is how you have to minimize to calculate dp of x you have to do you have to minimize dp of x minus ci and then take minimum of all of those x minus ci's and then add 1 to it because you have to add the extra coin if i show you the uh, implementation of it if you want to solve it yourself go ahead pause the video otherwise i'm going to show you the implementation of it uh here it is okay so as simple as that i'm using this array is used to uh to store coins and this here dp array uh, x can be as large as standard plus six that's why i'm having this array uh initialize all of the dp array to with infinity because we have to take care whether this sum can be made or not as well because suppose if the input was like uh, sorry where is it here sorry uh if the input is this see uh if there is only one coin which is of value five and i'm asking you minimum number of coins to make the total sum four there's no way you can make sum four when you only have a coin of rupee five right in that case you have to print minus one so this is here it is so i'm initializing dp of uh, each integer from one to x with infinity infinity i have defined to be 10 to the power nine okay because uh, at max you can x uh, at max uh, your result would be 10 to the power six because of the constraints okay so anything any value which is out of outside of that will never be a valued solution and that's why i can use 10 to the power nine to indicate an invalid state so initialize all of the dp array with infinity and after that evaluate dp array from 1 to x right using all of the coins we have n coins so i'm running a loop from 1 to n each time uh, first of all this should be a positive value right because negative we have to discard so i minus cons of j if it is greater than or equal to zero then we can minimize dp of i dp of i is minimum of dp of i comma dp of i minus coins of j plus one right if dp of x is equals to infinity that is that means you uh, we are not able to make some x in that case 
dpfx i'll initialize with minus one so that i can print the result because in that case we have to print minus one otherwise dpfx already contains the correct solution i'll be providing the solution this code in the description of the video so you can use it as a reference so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you